if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 10. Oh wow, two Fs. Are you serious? Two Fs? Welcome to episode number 10 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. Uh, I simulated the first two, did the chip shots, and then uh, just simulated those final two. And it's given me two Fs, so fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted to start off a new episode. We are growing very nicely though, regardless of the fact that, unfortunately, training doesn't seem to be going too well for us right now. We are currently, as you saw and can see at the bottom left, rated at 72 overall. We're in solid form right now as well. Scoring goals, setting up assists as well, being involved in all of the play. Uh, starting up top with uh, Fortune, unfortunately, for this first game against Colchester. And then after this... We have to wait about 10 days or so, and then we have a cup game against Shrewsbury in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. So that'll be the two games today. Hopefully you enjoy. If you do, then make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Hopefully we could hit over a thousand again. But obviously subscribe if you haven't already as well to make sure you don't miss out on any content on the channel, whether it be this series, the My Player. This is my player. This series, the Wolfsburg, or the Chelsea series, but uh, hopefully we can continue our good form so far this season. We've grown by five ratings so far this year, and it looks like we're going to continue to grow if we can pick up some more accomplishments in game and, uh, you know, get better results in training. We could even be up as high as like 80 by the end of this first season, which would be absolutely incredible if we can get that high. And I'm going to try my absolute best to uh, to reach those heights in year one. But uh, training might be slightly overpowered at present because I've seen a lot of people being able to train people in like one season. If you solely concentrate on one person, you can grow them by like 14, 15 ratings, which would be fantastic for a my player. Would immediately suit us up towards uh, one of the larger teams in world football, but. There's not really much of a journey there, is there? One season in League One on loan and then immediately into a top Premier League side and uh, playing in Europe. But, I mean, if that happens, we will take it as it comes. But for now, <laughs> let's jump into the game, shall we? Rather than me just waffling on. And we'll see if we can get three points against Colchester in League One. O'Brien coming forward. I'll make a run for him to use me. He hasn't done, but Vince Lott might, and he has done. I'll make a through ball there from Mark Antoine Fortune. I was expecting him to take that in his stride, but he hasn't done. He's received the ball back again, though. Can we get a decent cross in? I'll call for it from Ryan Haynes. It's headed my way. Header over the top of the bar. First chance of the game comes and goes after 13 minutes. We've got a corner there. We have. I thought I'd won that header. I might, might have done, actually, and headed it against the defender. I'm not sure, but Walker, the goalkeeper, has just come straight out to claim the corner. So there's the first chance, but sadly, no goal yet. Oh, shit. Elikobi's just given it straight to Marc Antoine Fortuné, who's missed the target. You are not going to get a better effort or a better chance all game, Fortuné. Oh, wow. How's he not hit the target from there? That is a gift. An absolute gift from George Elikobi, giving it straight to him on the edge of the box. And he's not even hit the target. If that was Marcus Tudgai, that would be 1-0 Coventry right now. But unfortunately, the manager keeps playing Marc-Antoine Fortuné, which is clearly not the right thing to do. Haynes, across to Vince Lott, into me. Let's play it out wide to Murphy, who's on rushing. Uh, I could call for that again, but there's not too much space. Murphy will use me now, though, if I call for it, and he has done. Get there ahead of the defender, burst past him, give it to Fleck. Fleck could get the turn in to get a shot away, perhaps. No, he's worked out a wide to where. Brian Fortuné with a shot. Fleck's there. How have you missed? How? How? How has he not got that in the back of the net? Please. Please. We haven't, we've barely created anything all game. They've created even less, and we have a glorious opportunity, and he puts it wide. Open goal in front of him, and I don't know how we're not 1-0 up. Ten minutes to go, it's still 0-0. Here's Vince Lott. I make the run through the middle. He's not going to be able to find me. Murphy tackled. We've been switched to right striker now, so our position has changed. We'll see if going 4-4-2 will actually help us create some more opportunities. I don't really see how that would, how that would work, but with uh, less midfield players to uh, be involved in the build-up. But maybe with two strikers, myself and Marc Antoine Fortuné can work it around. If we can ever get the ball back off uh, Colchester to create another chance, then we might be able to win this game in the last few moments. We have just won it back off them. 
Let's give it to Marc Antoine Fortuné. He'll use the man next to him. Here's Vince Lott. Fortuné with a shot and tipped over by Walker. Just a snapshot out of nothing from 20 yards or so and tipped over the top of the bar by the goalkeeper. That was heading in, I think. Maybe he may have hit the bar and gone over. Now we've been switched to left striker. Okay, that was odd, but never mind. That cross isn't anywhere near me. Keeper's come and punched it. I'm going to call for this on the edge of the box. Take a touch. Volley it. It's... Drop to Martin. Martin gets the tackling again. A call for this for a second time from Vince Lott. That was the worst pass you've ever seen. But we'll try a little bit of skill to open a bit, a bit of space, get the cross in, and it's cleared away. Can we win that following header? We can't. I'm going to call for it down here, though, on the wing. Mm, tackle the man. We've got it back. I'm going to fire that in towards your man there, O'Brien, who gets the volley in. It's still dropped back to him. O'Brien with a finish in the last minute. We've stolen all three points. A brilliant finish. Got so lucky with the rebound, the way it dropped back to him. So I don't know whether that will count as an assist. It probably won't because the initial shot was blocked. It's dropped back to him and he's buried that at the second attempt. A very good finish, making up for the terrible miss from Marc Antoine Fortuné and John Fleck earlier on in the first and second halves. But you take nothing away from that finish. That's very good. A goal very much capable of winning any game and it is going to win us this one. Coventry City won as we've gone park the bus now. Colchester United nil with only two minutes of stoppage time. That's going to be the game winner. It was the game winner. Final whistle was gone. Not shortly after I ended that previous highlight, actually. And uh, it's going to be a 1-0 victory here at home against Colchester. Wasn't the most entertaining of games. We don't get the assist, which sucks. I would have loved that assist. Drilling it into O'Brien, but we got the win. That's the most important thing, I suppose is uh, the team getting the result that we wanted. But Colchester had two shots. We, in the end, had eight, but it didn't feel like we created that much. It felt like a really uh, disappointing game. But the second half came to life in the, the, the last 20 minutes or so. So I'm pleased to have gotten the victory out of that. And we'll go into... It's a cup game next, wasn't it? Against Shrewsbury, who are in League One. So it is going to... Oh, let's do training as well, actually, while we think of it. It is going to be... Actually, we should be able to get two training sessions in a week here. And then uh, we'll get one in before the Shrewsbury game as well. So that's fantastic. I'll go and do some training and uh, then we will come back for the Shrewsbury game. First training session, I played the final two and simmed the first three. And a couple of A's on the ones that I actually played. B's and C's on the others. But I think if I do a similar set of training for the next one, we'll actually get a couple of improved stats. Similar results on uh, this final one as well, the second week's worth of training. A's in the two that I did, uh, B's, C's and D's on the ones that I didn't and simulated. So uh, we got a couple of improvements there in overall in uh, individual stats, but no overall stat improvement just yet. Although we are about 60% of the way through. Oh, playing with Fortune A again, unfortunately, for this game against Shrewsbury at home in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. But we'll try and get a win and progress through to the area semi-final of the Johnson's Paint Trophy. Nice drill ball by Wesolowski out wide to Brown. Pushing forward down the left-hand side here, Brown. Tackles, but wins the ball back again. Cuts inside and the shot, but flashes just wide. That's the first chance of the game after 20 minutes or so. Shrew should be playing a 4-5-1 in midfield. So uh, a lot of bodies in the middle. And they've kind of tried to utilise the wide areas so far. That's the first time they've actually created something from those wide areas, though. We'll have to keep an eye on Brown because he looks like he's going to be a bit of a tricky customer down that left-hand side. It's got ball into me here, though. We can actually get it in behind Brown if O'Brien can do well which he can do vision's gone up one thanks to our 75th through ball of our career here comes phillips down the right he's got space for a cross and here is that cross fortunately underneath it in fact i think it was knight percival that got the uh, the clearance away it was knight percival that got a clearance away well then corner for coventry where's that going uh, not towards me but it has dropped to a teammate Fortunately with a strike, but he's drilled it just wide. Well, they've had a chance at one end, and now we've had two at the other, but fortunately not able to find the back of the net with either. Wesolowski drills it down the line to Collins, who gives it straight to Murphy. Here's Ryan Haynes into Fleck. We've got a few bodies forward here. If Vince Lott can actually turn back inside and find me here, which he can't do because he's been drifting out wide. That's a nice ball into Fleck, though. Fleck will find me. I'm going to give this a crack from distance. We haven't, oh, we haven't scored a long shot yet in our career. And that was on target, though, headed towards the bottom corner. We drilled it hard and low, and it was a decent effort, actually. I'm going to give this to Fleck. Maybe we can create something else. Uh, Haynes push forwards from right back. Here's Fleck. Heavy touch, but keeps the ball under possession. Uh, oh, I was going to call for that through that gap, but decided against it in the end. Here's Vince Lott. Now I can call for it because I've got a bit of space. Wasn't the best to pass this to me, but we'll work it to Murphy. Murphy out wide to Haynes. Back to Murphy. Go 
on. Can we get a decent ball in here from Murphy? There's the cross coming. Fortunately, underneath it, but Leutweiler, the goalkeeper, or Leutweiler, I'm not too sure what nationality is, comes out to claim it. And that's probably going to take us to half time at 0 0. Phillips, O'Brien. A couple of people on a booking so far in this game. It's been a little bit feisty. A couple of chances at either end, though. Obviously, we had that long shot that was quite nice in the first half that wouldn't quite find its way past the goalkeeper. But that's a great cross by Haynes. He fortunately can find himself underneath this, so we could have had a chance. Phillips into Fleck. I'm going to try another long shot here because why not? Oh, jeepers creepers. That was so close to flying in the bottom corner. I was about to explode with delight. But unfortunately, despite the technique being perfect and the trajectory brilliant as well to dip right in front of the goalkeeper it just wasn't quite on target what an opening goal that would have been Murphy I'll call for this through here and he's given it to me first touch is okay I tried to get around the defender and it just wouldn't quite come off for me but we'll get the ball back here from Vince Lott. I'm just going to give it back to him because I've got three midfielders between me and uh, Marcus Tukai and I oh, can't quite find Tukai but Tukai gets it back to me back to Tukai good save by Leutweiler wow that touch that took it to uh, that took it to uh, took on there for that final shot wasn't actually a pass it just rebounded off my shins but it dropped nicely for him to actually have an effort we'll see if we can get something from this corner that is headed my way I've gone up for it but the keeper's come and punched it nicely here's O'Brien though going to drill it back out wide to Fleck back to O'Brien driving into the box is a cross coming is a cross coming here's Martin oh that's worked back to me is it okay I wasn't expecting that worked into Tukai Tukai could have a shot here good turn good save again by Leutweiler right we are really putting the pressure on now 10 minutes to go Trying to get ourselves a winner if we can. We really don't want to go to extra time here. The keeper comes to punch again. It's going to be Haynes underneath it. Phillips, are we going to work something here or are we just going to take our time before getting it back in? I don't want to lose the ball here, so I'll call for it to make sure we keep it. I'll drill it out wide looking for your man O'Brien on that right-hand side. We'll be switched to right striker. It's drilled across. Oh, Murphy at the back post keeps that down. It's a goal, but no high and over the top of the bar. Win that. Good lad, that's a very good header. Right, we'll play it quickly up to Martin, who's a centre-back who's pushed forward here. Uh, I don't really know where to go with the ball right now. I'm going to give it all the way out wide over there to Phillips, who dinks it in towards the middle. Phillips wins the header again. Here's Murphy. Call for the cross. It's come in. Cleared away by Liam Lawrence. It's a corner to uh, Coventry in the last minute. Can we win it now with one of the final few kicks of the game? That's a terrible corner. Keeper's punched it, though, for some reason. Murphy's going to bring that down. That's another good cross. It's not going to beat the uh, defensive line just yet. I'm going to call for this in here, though. Dinked in, smashed away. Here's Vince Lott. Picks it off. I'll try and play it through. I didn't realise their front line was, or their back line was pushed so high. I'm going to go on a run here. I've got no stamina left, so I'm just going to keep going and then have a crack. And they've cleared it away. We are in extra time now, as you can tell, the 94th minute. So uh, it's going to be interesting. We've pushed so many men forward that after we try to catch them out of the back, they're going to catch us at the back. Barnet, oh wow, hits the post. I don't know why I don't know why Fowler passed it. Why would he pass it in that situation? Did Fleck get a touch on that to block it? It looks like he did. Wow, I don't, I don't know why he passed it in that situation. Just score, mate. What a waste. And now they've given it straight to back to us from the corner. And then we've run into Larnell Cole, but now we've got it back again. Wow, extra time, opening first five minutes of, of which have been more entertaining than the rest of the game, apparently. I'm just going to play this down the line. We could be in again. Here's O'Brien. I really don't want to use too much stamina, though. That's the only thing. I'll switch it instead because there's loads of space over there. I don't want to get taken off in case it goes to a penalty shootout, but Murphy's header or to try and take it in his stride was just not good enough. Fleck plays it through. This is it. This is Martin, the centre-back, in the box. Brilliant save again by the Shrewsbury goalkeeper. It's all kicking off right now in extra time. All kicking off. If it goes to a penalty shootout, I want to be on the pitch to take a peno because we haven't taken one yet in a shootout and obviously we'd get a, an accomplishment for it. So uh, that's the plan. If we can't win it in extra time, obviously, that is. the plan. Well, yeah, the plan is to win in extra time and if we have to go to penalties, then uh, I want to score mine. So I want to make sure that I'm still on the pitch should it go to pens. But we're uh, attacking quite a bit now in this extra time period. That's a decent cross if he can lay it back across goal, which he has done. There's a man arriving, but Wesolowski's going to get it away. And that's probably going to bring... Oh, why would you touch that? Probably going to bring extra time, first half of which, to a close. Faller, tonight Percival. We're both, both ourselves and Shrewsbury, are now on all-out attack. So they're throwing everybody forward and leaving only a defender or so back. 
we're pushing everybody forward and leaving only a defender or so back. And that's going to be a corner to Shrewsbury at the beginning of this second half of extra time. I've been left up on the halfway line. That's a terrible corner, though, and should be cleared and is, but it might not reach me. Weselowski's cut it out. I'm trying to win it off him, but my guy's not strong enough with barely any stamina left to uh, cause any sort of problem for the defender there. Granderson's going on a run here. I don't know whether he's actually going to deliver anything at the end of the run. Here's Liam Lawrence, pretty low on stamina as well. Dinks it in. Johnson and Willis between them will get it away, and Fleck has cleared it all the way over here. I see Martin there. He wants to make a run, but I'd rather not give it to my centre-back in an attacking position, so we'll give it to Marcus Tudgai instead. I'm just going to trot into the... the offensive area that could be going in off the top of the bar wow that cross coming off the top of the woodwork so close to giving us a lead and Liam Lawrence has actually pulled up injured because his stamina was so, so low that's another reason why I'm wary about using all of my stamina as well I don't want to pull up with an injury and end up missing a few weeks because of a, a torn or pulled hamstring or something like that. But we've been involved again. We'll lay it out wide again. I'm just going to trot again towards the edge of the box. But unfortunately, Tukai this time has been tackled rather than being able to get his cross in. Stokes to Fleck. To me, oh, this is just begging to be hit from distance. And for a second time in the box, oh, it trickles off the post. We've won it in the last minute. I cannot believe it. 120th minute, and we've gone and won the game with the last kick of the game. Oh, I'm almost disappointed that it hasn't gone to penalties. I would have loved that shot to go in, but to win it back and then, oh, hit the post. Third attempt, and it's gone into the back of the net. We are through to the area semi-final of the Johnson's Paint Trophy. Thanks to that final moment there in the 120th minute, Coventry 1, Shrewsbury 0. I almost wanted penalties just so I could get that accomplishment because it's very rare that you get the chance to actually go to extra time and take a peno. But I'm trying not to sprint here so that I don't injure myself. We've picked up the ball there, in to intercepted the pass, and that is the final whistle. That was dramatic. That was particularly dramatic. The final kick of the game almost is the one that wins it for us. There's the ginger beard that we loved from the last episode with Vince Lott. We've scored the winning goal in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. Agility's gone up one. Hopefully stamina will have gone up one as well, which it hasn't, sadly. But never mind. 87% pass accuracy. We had quite a few shots in that game, although, to be fair, three of them came in that one highlight with the goal. We will take that. Through to the next one. No! Cambridge United lose to Barnet. That sucks. That sucks. Game was on a nice little cup run, apparently. Never mind. But that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Hopefully, uh, that final goal warrants a like. Last minute in extra time winner. I think that deserves a thumbs up. But that's going to bring it to a close. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check all the social media links in the description down below. And I'll see you next time.